What's up, people? This is Mr. Brandon here, and this week we have the Panorama P4 by Nectar. Basically, what I'm going to show you is how the mixer mode connects to the main mixer inside of Reason. Uh, if you're using a version of Reason, Reason 5 or below as a standalone, then it'll work a little bit different. Uh, if you're using Record, then it'll work pretty much just the same. I'm assuming that you've already installed this on your computer. Uh, you have your firmware up to date and you have added it as a device inside of Reason and the first thing that you notice is that you have two devices from Nectar which is the Nectar Panorama and the Nectar Panorama Mixer Mode so I'm going to exit out of that We're pretty much going to deal with the Mixer Mode right now uh, what we need to do is when you look at your screen you'll see this white text and it says to use Mixer Mode please lock Panorama Mixer control surface to a Mixer device locking to the master section is most useful which is what we're going to be doing in this video you can also lock to any mixer device in the rack and the regroup mixer. So if you're in a version of Reason Reason 5 or below, then that's what you're going to be doing. Uh, for example, you can lock it to a mixer 14.2. And then the very last line says, alternatively, select instrument, transport, or internal mode. And if you don't have to go through those, those are the four buttons above the screen, and they're labeled conveniently for you, so you can easily switch between those. If you're not using the panorama with Reason, then you will just be using internal mode. But we're in reason, so we'll be using all of them. But in this video, we're just going over the mixer mode. Now, let's go ahead and lock it to the master section. And to get there, I'm going to hit F5. It's going to bring up the mixer screen. You're going to right click in the white space and then click on the lock nectar panorama mixer mode to this device. Now you can see that the screen has gone away. And the first thing you see is all the sliders but the master section are down. And that is true according to our screen inside of reasons. So in order to match up our slider with the master, the very far right slider is our master slider and it'll always be the master slider and it'll never change unless you assign it to something yourself, which you should not do while in mixer mode. So let's go ahead and push up our physical slider and you can see that red line moving around. That's where our physical slider is. And as soon as we get it with the white bar, that means it is connected with the digital slider inside of our software. So now when we move it, they move together. Alright, so let's go ahead and update all of our faders. So I don't have any tracks open, so I'm just going to open 16 audio tracks. So you can see that the very last track selected is track 16, and it is white on the panorama screen because that means that we have it selected in our sequencer also. And you can see that underneath the eighth slider, there is a red light that is on. That means that we have that selected inside of our mixer. If we switch to 15, you can see that the red light on the screen and below the slider is now red showing that the, that is what we have selected um, you can still see that the 16 is still selected in white that means that we have that track selected in the sequencer if we want to change that we hit the track button to switch through it also that will update what track we have selected in the mixer if you're going to want to change that all you got to do is press the button below the slider so you see that we have 9 through 16 selected on, or shown on the screen so what happened to the first eight if we want to get back to that all we have to do is hit shift hit this track minus or bank left and it'll bring us to one through eight so now we can access any of those and have that selected if we would like it's an easy way to jump through all eight selected now that we have 16 channels up and i've shown you how to switch between those we need to update our sliders they're pretty much all on the same level because i just created them but i'm going to bring them all over the place different levels there we go so now i'm going to go over to the track and then select one now if you notice the motorized fader was moving because that i had because i have all those tracks at different levels whatever track you have selected in the sequencer the motorized fader will always be active to its level inside of our main mixer so then we have track one selected if we were going to go to track two it would update to its position so we can still be in the mixer or we can still be in the sequencer screen and see what track we're on and we will always have access to its level so we never have to visit the mix mixer screen actually we can even be an instrument and while we're changing through it'll update to whatever its fader or whatever its level is in the main mixer um, one thing to note that you're gonna have to do to update your faders is if we go ahead and switch over to 9 to 16 you can see that there are red lines everywhere on our screen and then they are not matching up anymore you do have to update your faders each time you switch through that that's just something that you have to do if you've ever used a digital mixer it's the same way when you load it for the first time you have to update all of your sliders to where you left off in case they got moved and that's how you use the mixer screen on the panorama p4 and how you update your sliders and how the motorized fader works generally and the next thing we're going to do is show you how to access all of your eqs dynamics 
sins, inserts, and other various things. So go ahead and click on the annotation in the screen if you would like to watch that.